Hello everyone and welcome back to another Star Wars action figure review. Today we're taking a look at a very cool figure, something a little bit different to the usual Black Series and Vintage Collection reviews that you'd see on this channel. This is Boba Fett from the 5 inch Star Wars Galaxy of Adventures line by Hasbro. Now, I know what you guys are going to say. Why are you reviewing one of these figures? There are so many amazing Black Series and Vintage Collection figures available right now. Why, oh why, are we sat watching a video on the Galaxy of Adventures line? And quite honestly, a couple of months ago, I would have asked myself the very same question. The Galaxy of Adventures line is not something that I ever really intended to even dip my toes into because I am one of those collectors who would much rather Hasbro stick to uh, either three and three quarter inch scale or six inch scale action figures. I'm not a massive fan of all these different experiments that they keep putting out. Um, all these different action figure lines and different toy ranges and all that sort of stuff I would much rather my Star Wars products be black series 6 inch or 3 and 3 quarter inch scale and that's it I'm, a, I'm, an, I'm an old school collector like that um, but <laughs> and here's the big but um, some of these Galaxy of Adventures figures uh, which is a line that started around Force Friday or Triple Force Friday last year with the Rise of Skywalker some of these figures look very very cool um, and Boba Fett is one of them, quite honestly. Um, other figures that are uh, set to be available in this line include Ahsoka Tano and the 332nd Clone Trooper from Season 7 of The Clone Wars. Those are two figures from this line that I have every intention of picking up as well. But like I said, I didn't have any intentions to pick up any figures from this line until Boba Fett and the aforementioned other two figures were uh, were revealed as well. And I've got to say I'm really glad that I picked this one up. Um, I love the packaging design. That's awesome. And the figure itself is really, really good. So much so that I just had to pick up another one. And we'll get on to all of that in, in just a little bit. Uh, before we jump into the review of the figure, we are going to take a look at the packaging that he comes in. As you can see, you've got this relay, quite small, streamlined box uh, with a window at the front depicting the figure. And then you've got this really nice animated style packaging, which is something I really like. Um, again, I'm not going to be um, one of these overly critical collectors that just absolutely slates everything Hasbro puts out that isn't Black Series or Vintage Collection. Um, if Hasbro are going to try something new, I would rather they try something new and get it right. And that's what they've done with this Boba Fett figure, even with the packaging as well, which I absolutely love. You've got a really nice image of Boba Fett there in the bottom corner obviously taken from the Galaxy of Adventures animated series. Got Boba Fett's name tab up the top there, the Star Wars logo on the side, some of the figures available in the line. So you've got Yoda, Luke Skywalker, Darth Vader, and the Sith Jet Trooper on the back. No bio or anything like that, just another image of Boba Fett. And then on the other side, you do have a depiction of the action feature that comes included with this figure. So packaging, I absolutely dig this. I think it looks fantastic. And as I mentioned, I have picked up two of these figures um, with the intention of keeping one in its box because I just love how it looks. It's a really, really nice um, visually appealing image to me. And I know this line isn't going to be for everybody, but if you're not interested in this line, you can turn off the video, can't you? <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm an advocate for this. Um, as I said, other figures in the line, I will definitely not be picking up. Yoda is one of them, Luke... Darth Vader I may be tempted to and I have a much you know a, a, a perfectly adequate Sith Jet Trooper in my Black Series collection so um, but again yeah it depends how Hasbro handle this line um, as I said Ahsoka and the 332nd Clone Trooper I'll definitely be picking up um, you could say maybe it's because they have no intentions of releasing those figures in the 6 inch or 3 and 3 quarter inch lines maybe that is so maybe I have been suckered into uh, picking up some of these figures because characters are available in this line and not the other lines but uh, you know it is what it is um, and from the images that I've seen those two figures look decent so I can't wait to pick them up and I'm very happy that I've been able to add Boba Fett to the collection as well he'll be joining my shelf of randoms which I'll uh, give you a look at in an upcoming collection video so there is the packaging for Boba Fett and as you can see on the front of the box he does come with his Bounty Hunter Blast, and we'll touch base on that later on in the review. 
So with packaging aside, let's take a look at the figure itself. And as I said, I really, really like this one. Obviously, it's something a little bit different to what we've seen from the three and three quarter inch and six inch um, black series lines. It's an animated style of figure. So aesthetically, he doesn't fit in with any of the other figures in your collection. He's got this squared off um, sort of appearance, you know, um, I'm not entirely sure how to how to describe the animation style, but I quite like it. It's nice. It's simple, but effective, and it translates really well into toy form, in my opinion. Obviously, there's a lack of detail in terms of paint applications. There's no weathering or anything like that. It is very, very basic in, uh, in terms of its decoration, but it looks really nice. And again, it's just something a little bit different and something that's a little bit nice to just fill that void. Um, while I await all these other Black Series figures that I've got pre-ordered. And to find it on shelf was really nice as well, in a store. So, in terms of paint applications, this particular figure is obviously based on his appearance in Return of the Jedi. You'll notice if you're a Boba Fett fan, um, that there are some large differences in terms of uh, Boba Fett's costume colour in The Empire Strikes Back and in Return of the Jedi. Um, in Episode 6, he has much more of a, a red and brown theme to his costume, which is apparent here. There are some differences in colour with the backpack. And this is something that I welcome as well, because I don't think we get enough Return of the Jedi coloured bub fets in action figure form. So this is really, really nice to see. Once again, those paint applications are, however, very simple. You do have the Mandalorian skull emblem on his shoulder. You've got the yellow lines around the rim of the helmet. The dint is there, but unfortunately it's not highlighted. I would have liked if that was silver. That would have been really nice. So you've got the visor. You've got the other logo on his chest there. Love the colours on the jetpack. Those look really, really cool. And of course he's got his knee pads and boots. And some subtle detail on the dart and flamethrower launcher on his gauntlet. So decoration-wise, aesthetically, this figure looks fantastic. Articulation-wise, he's not to be sniffed at either. Uh, we do get with this figure a ball joint at the head. That's a really nice fluid joint. You get some really nice um, posability out of that. So I'm quite a thin ball joint and a thin uh, neck stem. So do be careful with that. But like I said, there is a nice range of movement there. We do have hinges at the shoulders and at the elbows. There are swivels at the wrist, a swivel at the waist. Ball hinges at the hips, a single hinge at the knee, although on my sample these are a little bit tight. Again, very fragile as well, so do be careful with those. And you've also got a hinge and a rocker at the ankle. So really, really nice articulation on these. Definitely not going to complain about that. In terms of accessories, as I mentioned, he does of course come with his jetpack. This can be removed. And you can also remove the rocket in the top of the backpack and replace it with a firing projectile which is of course part of that bounty hunter blast gimmick that is labeled up on the box this is really nice this is old school boba fett i love this about this figure and um, once you've placed the projectile into the back of the jetpack you can then proceed to press this button here on the bottom of the jetpack and hopefully that goes firing out like so which is really really cool i love that again old school boba fett it's uh, a nice throwback to the rocket firing boba fett from the original vintage days and then you can then proceed to replace it with the rocket that just sticks in there as a decorative piece so really really cool and then of course you do get the trademark boba fett blaster rifle which again really nicely sculpted and in fitting with that animated style. But like I said, this figure 
just looks really really cool i'm going to be adding this figure not necessarily to another action figure display but hopefully at some point i'll get to work on a, a much larger um boba fett shrine in my collection and um, but for the time being he'll be uh, sitting on my shelf of randoms on my detail cabinets alongside some of the other uh, random bits and pieces from within my collection but i'm a huge fan of this figure i think if you guys pick it up as a one-off you'll appreciate it as well and i definitely recommend it so if you've enjoyed this review be sure to leave a comment down below let me know what you think of the galaxy of adventures line and uh, we'll see about reviewing some more of these figures in the near future until then as always thank you for watching keep collecting and may the force be with you